Is your Roku slow to respond or getting stuck abruptly? Well, we know just what you need to do to get this issue fixed. Stick around till the end of this video and check out all the steps that I mentioned to completely revert your Roku to its former glory. A bad network connection can completely hinder the performance of your Roku, especially if you're streaming or browsing through a channel. Slow speeds and high latency can all contribute to be the root cause behind your Roku being slow. You can verify this predicament by checking the network status right from your Roku. Head over to the Settings tab and select Network followed by a check network status. If the test results return a positive status with good speeds and stable signal strength, then you're good to go with your network. On the other hand, if the test reflects poor performance, try pause cycling your internet router. Pause cycling the router refreshes the internal components of your router, which may prove to be crucial for improving its performance. All you need to do is unplug the router from the power supply and plug it back in after a minute. Wait for the router to turn back on and try accessing the network from your Roku. If it's the signal strength that has been the detriment to the network performance, reposition your router to be as close to your Roku as possible. You can also go for a mesh network or a Wi-Fi extender to further enhance the signal strength. In case you're still experiencing issues with your network, try switching the network band. Roku devices support both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks, hence allowing you to switch the band when one does not seem to work for you. To change the Wi-Fi band on your Roku, head over to the Network tab once again and select Setup Connection. Select Wireless and choose a new network band other than the one that you've been already connected to. Type in the password to establish the connection. On select Roku models like the Roku Ultra, you have the option to go for a wired network connection using an Ethernet cable. Wired network connections offer much more stability compared to its wireless counterparts. One of the prime reasons why Roku devices seems to get slow is the lack of updates. Running your Roku on outdated firmware can trigger a lot of issues, including making it slow. And so, if your Roku seems to get slow, check and update its firmware. Head over to the Settings tab and navigate to System. Select Check for Updates to run a manual check for any pending updates. Execute any pending firmware updates and wait for it to complete. Once your Roku has been successfully updated, check for the issue now. Now, if you have trouble getting your Roku to register commands made with your remote controller, the issue may not entirely lie with the Roku per se. The remote may be at fault here. Roku remotes running on drain batteries can indeed fail to effectively communicate with your Roku. So, it's important to replace the batteries on your Roku every once in a while to fend off such mistakes. Once you've done that, try refreshing the sync between your remote and your Roku parent device and it's fairly simple. To refresh the Roku remote connection, unplug the Roku from the power supply and remove the batteries from your remote controller. Then, after a few seconds, plug back the Roku and wait for it to boot up. Reinsert the batteries on your Roku and wait for it to pair back to the device. If you're certain that the network, your Roku and your remote controller are in top order, but a particular channel seems to be slow on your Roku, then your best bet is to remove and re-add the channel. In time, apps and channels on your Roku that have been a mainstay can struggle and usually deleting the channel and re-adding it should work well. To remove a channel from your Roku, navigate to the channel icon from the home screen. After highlighting the icon, plus the star menu button on your remote to bring up a pop-up menu. Select Remove Channel and confirm the selection. Now, restart your Roku and once it boots up, head over to the Streaming Channels tab and search for the Remove Channel. Install and open it and check for the issue now. If none of the tips that I mentioned so far seems to work for you, you might need to reset your Roku to its factory defaults. Once you factory reset your Roku, all of its saved configs and data gets completely wiped out and that can include any potential bugs that might have been the root cause behind your Roku seeming slow. To factory reset your Roku, head to the Settings tab and select System. 
Now navigate to the Advanced System Settings tab and select Factory Reset. Confirm your selection by typing in the code. Once done, set up your Roku and install all your required channels and your issues should completely be wiped out. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing a Roku that has been getting slow. If you found this video useful, do comment your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Roku content like this.